This is Anthony Olympia with Six String Country, and this lesson we're going to be working on Bar at the End of the World by Kenny Chesney. It was written by Amy Mayo, J.T. Harding, and David Lee Murphy. Uh, we're going to have some fairly straightforward stuff in both the rhythm and lead lessons, so if you're kind of more like a beginner or a little up from that level of a guitar player, this is going to be a really fun song to dig in, play some chords, play some power chords, some... Uh, you know, some cool licks and stuff, right? And even if you're, you know, intermediate or advanced, it's still a pretty rocking, fun tune. It's a great song. So let's get started. There's a trail of smoke coming out of a bottle. If you look real close, you can see it right there. Tin roof bar down a path you have to follow from a treasure map with the edges burned from a few too many beers. We'll pull the ropes off the boat, we'll throw them up on the dock. We'll let the stars be our guide. No, we don't need no clock. We'll set sail. I see you there winning your hair and that t shirt on. Dead men tell no tales like no. So here we are at the rhythm lesson for bar at the end of the world. Uh, like I said in the intro, this is going to be fairly simple. We're going to have three chords, um, two strum patterns. Um, it's it's going to sound like, here are the two different things we'll hear. Right? That's one part and the other one is... The choruses in uh, the uh, I guess the turnaround, right? The part that happens after the choruses and the outro. And I guess there are two outro sections. Um, it'll be the, the big outro part and then the second outro section too. So um, pretty much everything except for the verse and the pre-chorus. Okay. So let's move on to what we do in verse and pre-chorus sections. It sounds like this. Okay, um, so I'm just going down, 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 over and over. And we'll do uh, down, down on one chord, change chord, do it again, right? Cool. Um, the chord progression is the same, A, D, G, D. So let's try that. We'll do it, uh, let's do it twice through, make sure we got it. So here we go, three, four. Parts to a metronome. This is the intro, choruses, turnarounds, and outros. Two, three, four. Okay, now here let's do the simpler one, the second strumming pattern. This is going to be the verses and pre choruses. Two, three, four. lead lesson for bar at the end of the world. Uh, like I said in the intro, it's pretty straightforward. It's going to be great if you're uh, you know, closer to like a beginner level or intermediate maybe. Um, it'll be great to kind of dig in kind of like baby steps into some more complicated things, right? Rather than just diving into stuff that's like way over your head. This will be a really great like in the middle kind of song and lesson. Um, we're going to do some power chords. We're going to do some lead stuff. Um, Palm muting, arpeggios, uh, we'll right here on the sixth fret of the G, slide up to the seventh with your pinky. And then I'm gonna do sixth fret, fourth fret, and then seventh fret of the D. Okay? And then you start it over.
Okay, so it just does that twice for the intro. And this will be the same thing for um, the turnaround, and I guess what would usually the spot a guitar solo would be, it'll just be another turnaround after the second chorus, right? So let's play this part twice slowly. It'll be like the whole intro, or the whole turnaround, kind of. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Here is verse two, three, four. Okay, now here is pre chorus three. One, two, ready, go. 